This is my audience. Did you know there was a shortage of Fraser fir Christmas trees in the United States? Did you ever think about growing your own Fraser fir trees and having your farm? There are some preparations that you need to consider if you want to start this adventure. You don't want to lose money by buying trees and immediately planting them only to have your land not prepared and you lose your crop and your money. My family started a tree farm, Fraser fir tree farm, nine years ago. We have been selling Christmas trees for the last two years. I will be discussing the elements that are needed to start your Fraser fir Christmas tree farm. First, I will discuss the elevation needed to grow trees. I will then discuss the proper soil and rainfall that you need to have a successful crop. Finally, I will be dis discussing the maintenance that the farmer will have to ensure to, ha that they, to ensure that they have a successful crop when ready to be harvested. Now let's get started on how to start a Fraser for a Christmas tree farm. Elevation is needed for growing Fraser for Christmas trees. According to the article Species for Christmas Tree Planting in Virginia by James Johnson, Fraser firs are native to the Appalachian Mountains and need 4,000 to 6,000 feet to grow. But they can also grow at 2,000 feet by getting the right site. Our farm is about right in here. And so we are over the 2,000 feet elevation. We're a little over 3,000 feet, but we're not quite to 4,000 feet. Also discussed in Species for Christmas Tree Planting in Virginia, Fraser fir trees are recommended for mountain counties. With higher elevations on the northern, it's northeast slopes. Our farm is in Nelson County. The surrounding counties, Amherst, Rockbridge, Augusta, would all be counties that could grow Fraser fir trees with their elevation. According to the book, Christmas Trees for Pleasure and Profit by Robert Ray, a Fraser fir planted on the north side of a hill where it stays cool, shady, and moist, a Fraser fir tree will thrive. Now that we've talked about the elevation needed, let's discuss the soil and the rainfall needed. What is the proper soil and rainfall needed to grow Fraser fir Christmas trees? According to the book, Growing Christmas Trees by Patrick White and Lewis Hill, growing Christmas trees do better by having well-drained soil. Considering the amount of rainfall that we had last year, root rot could become a problem if your soil is not well drained. Root rot is a serious disease that affects the root caused by not having well drained soil. Also discussed in Growing Christmas Trees, to have a successful tree crop, look for fertile, deep soil. Soil that can be easily improved also by adding nutrients will work. Patrick White and Lewis Hill also state in the book growing Christmas tree, good soil contains high amount of hummus, which can absorb both moisture and nutrients such as nitrogen and release them later as the tree needs them. According to the article, Species for Christmas Tree Planting in Virginia by James Johnson, the soil for Fraser firs should be moderately acidic. That's gonna be your pH should be about 5.3 to 5.8. Rainfall is important to growing Fraser fir trees. According to Patrick White and Lewis Hill in the book, Growing Christmas Trees, rainfall during the weeks of early summer are especially important. This is when the evergreen makes their top growth visible and the roots continue to grow in late summer and fall. According to the article, Fraser Fir Tree Care, How to Grow Fraser Fir by Jackie Carroll, Fraser Fir trees prefer locations with an annual rainfall of at least 75 inches. There's less rain, you probably gonna need to irrigate. We had over a hundred inches of rain last year in Montebello. We had no problem. And thank goodness we have well-drained soil so we did not have the problem of root rot. Now that we have discussed and talked about the elevation and soil and rainfall needed, let's discuss the maintenance of your trees. Maintenance of a Fraser for a tree, you sh should know that it's gonna take between eight years to grow, to have your tree ready, ready to be harvested. And that's gonna be about the size of seven to eight feet. According to Kyle Pierre in the article, an introduction to growing Christmas trees, planting Fraser firs should happen around mid-April. These were planted this week. 
you will need to have adequate space between them. Your space between your trees also depends on your acreage. But you can see right here of the different spaces of the trees. Weed control starts in the first few years, according to Kyle Pierre in the article and introduction of growing Christmas trees in Virginia. Competition from grasses and vegetation can kill the trees and limit their growing. So it's important to control the weeds. Weed control consists of spraying herbicides in early fall and early spring. Mowing is also important to keep the weeds and grass down. The rows and around the trees need to be mowed on a regular basis. According to the article, Introduction to Growing Trees in Virginia by Kyle Pierce, shearing is so important to maintain Fraser fir trees. Shearing begins around the third year. Shearing is cutting the branches to give the tree the desirable cone shape. Pierce states that improper shearing with the branches coming out usually eliminates markability or requires extensive correcting pruning. So it's critical to learn how to shear your Fraser fir correctly. In Virginia, shearing usually starts around the weekend of 4th of July. Shearing can be time consuming and hard work. In the book, Growing Christmas Trees by Patrick White and Lewis Hill, sharing is most intensive and critical tasks related to growing Fraser fir Christmas trees. In the article, To Growing Christmas Trees by Robert, in the Growing Christmas Trees in Virginia, Fraser firs needed, need to be fertilized to grow because they're more nutrient de demanding. They are fertilized annually in the winter and spring. Pest control is another maintenance with Fraser fir trees. Kyle Pierre states that insect and disease pests can be a major problem. Pesticides must be applied and applied quickly to prevent damage. This is an example of the balsam woolly algae and this is actually an insect that gets in your tree. Just, if we don't catch it, your tree is gonna die. The anterior needle blight is a disease and it will start killing your tree from the inside out. And if you don't catch that, you lose your crop. In conclusion, we have discussed the elements needed to grow Fraser fir, to grow Fraser fir Christmas trees. Each of these elements the elevation, the soil, and the rainfall and maintenance are key elements to growing successful trees. It isn't easy and it is hard work, but with having all these elements in place, you can have your very own Fraser fir Christmas tree farm. You might even get a visit from Santa if you do.